First, Congressman Benny Thompson visited Jackson Evers Airport to talk about a new security screening system. 16 WAPT's Emily Alexander found out how it could get you through security lines faster. A security upgrade at Medgar Wiley Evers International Airport. We have two checkpoints, uh, one on the east side and one on the west side. The head of the Transportation Security Administration landed in Jackson Thursday to announce a new pre-check screening system. This is a known and trusted traveler system that allows us to expedite physical screening for passengers. The pre-screen system allows passengers to pay a fee to get a background check one time. Then they can bypass standard security lines for five years. You can keep your shoes on, you can keep your jacket on, uh, but there's a cost associated with it. And, but a number of people have opted for it. There is a minimal cost. It's uh, $85 for five years, so $17 a year. Airport officials tell me not only would the new security measures enhance the safety of the airport, but it would make travel more convenient. Obviously, the benefit is when you have part of the equipment that goes down, you have the other lane that you can process quickly the passengers and their carry-on bags. Travelers we talked to had mixed reactions. Uh, Pre-screening sounds nice, but I don't know about the fee. That, would, that seems a little excessive to me. I mean, they already rack up the charges as it is. I'd be very pleased with that, and I understand there'll be a small charge associated with it, but I think it's a worthwhile charge to pay. In Jackson, Emily Alexander, 16, WAPT News. Airport leaders say they hope to have the new screening system in place by 2015.